Okay, I thought I'd uh, give a little bit of a demonstration of where I've got to so far with Sublime UI5, which is a plugin for Sublime Text for development of uh, SAP UI5, Open UI5 applications. There's two parts to it so far. There's the snippets and also templates, and the templates mechanism uses the, the another plugin called ST Project Maker. So first of all, let's start with the templates. What I want to be able to do, and here we go, is I'll hit Control Shift N, and I've got a couple of templates here, uh, one of which uh, I've fleshed out already, which is for XML view-based uh, app, an app, a M app control as the core or the root control using a component uh, infrastructure and an event bus for the navigation. So we'll choose that. Uh, where, what do we want to call the project? And where, where do we want to put it? We'll put it down there. Uh, on demo project. And also, it's got some placeholders in it. Uh, the particular placeholder we're using is namespace qmacro.test, for example. And what will happen then is it will generate um, scaffolding or a, a template, a templated out project for you with an index file, a sublime text project file, a readme, a component the views and stuff. So we can go and open this now in Sublime Text, my demo project. So we have project, open projects. Um, uh, where is it now? Shared. My demo project, there it is. And there we can see we've got all the files that have been created. We've got um, an app, sap.m.app control. It's an XML view based application. The namespace that we specified has been used here to flesh out the, the view names, for example, and the controller names, uh, and it all works. Uh, let's have a quick look at the browser, and we can see there that we're having this application served already, and there it is. So it's a little uh, app-based two-page application written in XML views with a component and using the event bus for navigation. Now, just a little look at the snippets. If we wanted, for example, to go to the view, the main master view for the list, and instead of the standard list item, let's have an object list item. Let's use a snippet now. Object, oops, list item, hit the tab, and we've got a nice little snippet here. The title property should be um, brew name, we'll have the ABV for the number, and we'll have ABV for the units and we'll have an object attribute as well. Tab and we can put in there the brewer. So let's try that. So let's save that. Go back to the browser, refresh, and we can see we've got an object list item. Now instead, let's just add a search field as well, just above the list. There we go, and we actually we've got to do this press handler here so we'll just save that now let's go back and see if we've got a search field yes we have we've got a search field here of course we haven't done the handler yet for it but we've got the uh we've got the xml snippet very useful for us so there you are a quick overview of the sublime ui5 templates and snippets so far